What are you doing? What are you doing? So I definitely said I was going to update more often in the last video and I was kind of hoping to do like every week leading up to when the baby's born. But that didn't happen because life is life and a lot has happened in the last two weeks. I am now 35 weeks pregnant and yeah. So the first, first thing I'll update with, I guess, is so in the last video I know I talked about how I was only measuring like 30 weeks and um, I was at 32 weeks at that point and she was like, it's okay, two weeks behind isn't that big of a deal, just make sure you mention it at your next appointment, which was my first appointment with the midwife at my 34 week appointment. Um, and I did, I mentioned that and she was like, okay, well I'll go ahead and measure you and see and I was still measuring at 30 weeks, like just across the belly. Um, so she went ahead and sent me for an ultrasound to just check uh, Bobby's growth and everything was fine. She used a little bit small, but not like abnormal at all. Just like on the smaller side of normal. Um, they only measure you like this way. I feel like I'm growing this way too. So maybe she's just, maybe my body just grows in a different way. I don't know. Um, regardless, she's like, it's not anything to be worried about. Um, we'll just do another ultrasound at 38 weeks just to be sure. And so yeah, that was good news. I was a little worried when she first measured me and she was like, oh, you are still at 30 weeks. That kind of freaked me out because I was expecting to at least have grown some, but uh, you know, at least we got, we got an ultrasound. We got to see her. I'll put a picture in. Um, here's what the belly is looking like at 35 weeks. I feel like it looks really big. I don't feel like I look small at all. But, uh, yeah, I still got my stretch marks. I don't necessarily they think that they've gotten really worse. They definitely haven't gotten any better, even though I switched to using that clear and stretch mark cream. And I haven't really noticed any other stretch marks other than just right on my sides. But I haven't also been paying that much attention lately because... Like I said, I have been pretty busy. Um, we actually got a new addition to the family. You might have already seen him. I'm gonna wake you up just for a second, okay? I'm your baby. This is Duke. He is a nine week old Australian Shepherd and he's so freaking cute. I can't get over his fluff. Look at how fluffy he is. Oh, baby. He's so sleepy. I gotta let him, let him go back to sleep. Mwah. But I love him. It's hard to ever, like, leave him alone because he's so cute. So, that has also been a little bit of a whirlwind kind of thing. I was completely, completely surprised. I was just sitting at home, doing homework. Chris walks in. Set the dog down. I had no idea we were getting a dog, let alone the cutest puppy ever to exist in the entire world. Um, and yeah, so he just set the dog down and I was like, um, what's that? <laughs> I was like, is that ours? And oh my gosh, I was so, so happy. I still, I can't get over him. He is so cute, so fluffy. Sammy is doing all right with him. She plays with him and stuff, but you know, there's still some kind of issues we're gonna have to figure out of like some people might think that that's absolutely crazy but Chris you know has had the thought that if we get a puppy it would be a really good test on Sammy for when there's a baby here and also it gives her a companion um because she is very very clingy and like attached to us always is wanting attention and obviously when a baby comes she's not going to get that much attention so um, yeah, that's kind of everything that's been happening, I think. I have been feeling, like, so pregnant. <laughs> um, very much, like, feeling, getting tired again. 
Like, at the end of the day, like, I can't keep my eyes open. Um, of course, the puppy likes to wake up kind of early, too. I usually wake up at 8. He likes to wake up at 7. So, okay, he's, like, the cutest right now. Hold on. Look at him. He's sleeping on a ball on a bone, and he's just snoozing. Snoozing. Well, I don't even remember what I was talking about. I got so distracted by him. I guess feeling pregnant, yeah. <sighs> like, um, moving around is harder. Getting up, getting down. My back hurts more. Um, it's alright, though. There's good and bad days. Uh, I feel, actually, like, the more I move around, the more active I am, the better I feel when I'm sitting a lot. It's been the same thing my whole pregnancy. If I sit a lot, it hurts a lot. Um, uh, probably won't have a crib by the time she's born, I'm kind of guessing. My brother is supposed to be in charge of that, and he has not started. And, you know, we have, what, five weeks? If she's born on her due date, we have five weeks. And he is taking a two-week vacation in one week, so he's got, like, three weeks, I guess, of work time to do it. And I don't know. We have a pack-and-play. We have, like, the thing is, like, it's going to be a crib and changing table, so we, you know, we can use the pack and play. It has, like, the little bassinet and the changing table spot, so it'll work. We will hopefully also have a bassinet in our room by that point. Uh, Chris is kind of going to build one that is, like, three-sided, so it sits up next to the bed. Um, I'll try and find a picture of what we're looking at. It's hard, it's kind of hard for me to explain stuff, but... So I'll have that. But other than those two rather big things, I think we have everything. It's just about uh, getting it together. Her room obviously is not put together because we're not done painting it. So once we're done painting, I'll be able to do that. And I think I'll feel better at that point right now. Her stuff is just all in our living room. And like little stacks of kind of piles of junk and puppy <laughs> oh he's so cute and over there and yeah so oh yeah and her dresser is right there because we're painting the room um yeah i was stressing pretty hard about all of this stuff not being together and then i don't know what hit, just hit me that i was like it's fine like, we'll definitely be able to get by without everything put together exactly the way I want it. Um, and, you know, the fact that I am depending on other people for some things is just kind of like you have to, like, let it go. So, it's now, apart from just, like, being physically ready, like, in the house, uh, mentally, I still don't think that I have quite realized that I'm having a baby. I know that sounds crazy, but... I honestly don't think it's going to hit me until I have, like, a real baby in my arms. Plus, obviously getting a new puppy has kind of distracted my, um, I don't know, like, I don't know how to say motherly instincts, but, you know, like, caring, yeah, like, wanting to care for something, so. It's, oh my gosh, she's going to be here before I know it. I already know, just because time is flying by life is going so fast and yeah oh I'm excited though I'm excited for her I'm excited for this puppy that I love I'm excited to be off work for eight weeks because work has been kind of stressful and annoying lately so and it's just not a time I would want work to be stressful and annoying I wish it was just normal <laughs> one thing that has made this pregnancy like 10 million times better starting yesterday was the fact that it became fall here in Kentucky. It was like 80 degrees or higher all the way up to 90 degrees actually um, up until this week and yesterday. Yesterday it finally dropped. I think the highs have been like in the low 60s and it's so exciting because it's you know feels like fall and I'm not freaking super hot all the time anymore. Still get kind of warm if I'm inside because people like to turn the heat on really early or maybe I'm just really pregnant um that's cool 
I'm sorry if this is a video that's been like all over the place. I just wanted to sit down and do an update before I forget all this stuff. I'm gonna try and update again, like after the next appointment. Um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment um, and subscribe if you want to keep following the journey and meet the next new addition to the Barry household. One more little peek. I'm gonna wake him up again. I'm so mean. Okay, he was sleeping. I woke him up. He's not happy. Say, say like this video because I'm so cute. Mwah. Bye. Aww.